In the past several questions of our catechism, we've been talking about the two ordinances that Jesus gave the church. These are two important things Jesus ordered the people of his church to do before he left. The two ordinances are baptism and the Lord's Supper. Both of these ordinances use things we can touch and see to point us to the good news that Jesus died for our sins and rose from the dead. In the previous question we asked, what is the Lord's Supper? And the answer, at the Lord's Supper, the church eats bread and drinks wine to remember the sufferings and death of Christ. In other words, the Lord's Supper was a meal people ate in order to remember what God had done for them. Eating a meal to remember what God has done was something Jesus' people had been doing for over a thousand years. It was called the Passover meal, and God's people ate it to remember how God had rescued them from slavery in Egypt. Let's look at our current question, number 70. What do the bread and wine represent? And the answer? The bread represents the body of Christ, broken for our sins. The wine represents the blood of Christ, shed for our salvation. Before we talk about what those words mean, let's quickly look at the book of 1 Corinthians, where the Apostle Paul taught a church about the Lord's Supper. That the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the very first Lord's Supper, Jesus gave bread to his disciples. And when he did, he said, This is my body. When we eat the bread during the Lord's Supper, bread that looks a lot like Jesus' skin would have looked, he wants us to remember his body. But what happened to his body? Well, it was broken for our sins. When Jesus was taken away to be crucified, he was blindfolded and beaten. He was scourged, whipped until his back was torn open, and he had a crown of thorns forced into his head. The Lord's Supper is a meal where we eat to remember. And what do we remember when we eat the bread? We are reminded of just how serious our sin problem is. If we ever truly want to understand how God feels about sin, we should think about how Jesus must have looked when, in our place and for our sins, he was beaten and bruised. Let's look back at 1 Corinthians chapter 11 again. In the same way also he took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. When Jesus asks us to drink the red wine of the Lord's Supper, he wants us to remember his blood. In the Bible, blood is often used to represent the life of a person. When we drink the cup in the Lord's Supper, we should remember that Jesus gave us his life for our salvation, to save us from our sins. From the first sin of Adam and Eve, when God killed and took the hides of animals to cover their nakedness, to Moses and the animal sacrifices for sins, God has made it clear all through the Bible that sin requires death. In the book of Hebrews we read, Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. In the Lord's Supper, Jesus gave us wine to drink because the wine reminds us that our sin required Jesus' death. Let's look one more time at our question and answer. Question number 70. What do the bread and wine represent? And the answer? The bread represents the body of Jesus, broken for our sins. And the wine represents the blood of Jesus, shed for our salvation.